Hey guys, I'm late getting on here today. It has, the morning has gone by and I haven't even said hello and happy Vlogmas day three. Today is Sunday. <clears throat> we have just finished up with church. We've stopped by to get a bite to eat. Today was our hanging of the green service and um, <clears throat> that's where we decorate the sanctuary and so forth. And let me just take a minute and um, several people questioned why my family did not pitch in and help clean up. That's because I asked them not to. It is not that they wouldn't or they didn't want to. I asked them not to because I want to spend time just visiting and sitting down and I didn't want anybody to worry. So please don't think my family don't help because they do. I just wanted to set that straight and make that clear. And um, so anyway, we're finishing up eating. I'm eating with, can you guess? <clears throat> They're play fighting over there. And there's Bryant and Isaac. Okay, so I'm not sure what today holds. It's probably gonna be a pretty lull of a day. <clears throat> but we are gonna decorate the Christmas tree. So that's the big thing on today's video. So um, I'll see you guys when we get home. I gotta run to the grocery store and get something for our supper tonight and for a dinner that I'm having tomorrow with some guests. So we'll see you at home. Okay, everyone, so we've gone home and I've changed clothes. Bryant and Isaac have changed clothes and we're over here at the chicken houses because we're getting chickens this week and so there's last minute things that need to be done. He's gonna run the feed. He's also gonna close the curtains. The curtains keep the center portion warm. So that's why we wanna close it because that's the only place we keep the little bitty chicks. And as they grow, we open the curtains and send them out to the other sides of the curtain so but first we're gonna um turn the feed field on and fill up the hoppers and then we're gonna close the curtains so i'm gonna go see what they're doing all right guys anytime you're starting to feed back up there gonna be challenges um for several different reasons um they come and they come and get all the feed out of this hopper this is the big feed bin it's on the outside they come and get all this feed, they suck it out with a big vacuum cleaner, but sometimes it leaves a, a residual amount. Hang on a second, I can't work and talk. It leaves a residual amount, and it'll get clogged up in here where this auger is, and we just had a big clog and it wouldn't wouldn't go. You can see that feed right there is falling down in there now. And so I had to take that side plate off right there, fix that, and uh, see that feed spill right there, I'll fix that. But uh, Anyway, we got her up and going. The feed's running in the house. Let's go inside. Here we go. You guys are getting ready to see it come in. We just started right there in that hopper. See the feed running in. It comes in in that big old white line right there. See that line coming in the house? Comes into that tube, drops down into this hopper. Then when that hopper's full, it'll move over here to this one. And come out of this one, you see it right there. So the process is taking place of right now the feed coming in to the houses and so on like that. So, uh, hate I'm having to, to run the feed and deal with it today, but birds are coming back on Tuesday and uh, they want you to do this uh, within 48 hours of when the birds are coming back. I could do it tomorrow on Monday, today's Sunday. I could do it tomorrow on Monday, but the only problem is I won't have help. Uh, the only help I will have is Leslie and I'm getting ready to have to carry, let me see, four, eight, uh, the 400 pounds of feed per house times six houses, 2,400 pounds of feed I'm getting ready to have to put out on the ground. And Isaac is available to help me today, so I have to do it today because I have help. Uh, my ox is in the ditch, so to speak, but the Lord understands. So got to fill these hoppers up and put this feed out for these baby chicks that's coming. Okay, everybody. So we're home. Um, Brian and Isaac are still over at the farm. And I'm going to just go ahead and... Do you know, some of you may ask, you know, aren't you a pastor's family? Why are you working on Sunday? Because a farm doesn't stop on the weekend. It doesn't stop. There's still farm work to do. And uh, we reverence the Lord in everything that we do. But we um, th there's just certain types of jobs. We try not to do anything, uh, any major work uh, that can be done on other days. But there's just certain things like our cows need feeding. They'll have to feed the cows and so forth. So the kids are coming over tonight. We're going to have a nice family night. We're going to decorate the Christmas tree and I'm going to make supper and I'm going to make creamy chicken chili and I'm going to use a can of my 
canned chicken. I am in love with this. Um, so if any of you guys see chicken on sale, let me know because I want to stock up and can it, can it, can it. Um, now I canned in pretty big pieces, so I'm going to just, um, and I'm going to use the broth because my recipe calls for some broth anyway. Um, so these are in pretty big pieces. So as I get them out, I'm breaking them up. So, all right, guys, um, this is what I'm working on. I've got an onion in here. Um, it's already chopped up and in there. So uh, Judah's hanging out with me today, as you can see. So um, I'm going to break up this chicken, and I'll see you back. Um, I'll try to link. I'm not going to share with you the whole recipe today because that's not what this video is about. We'll have those occasionally. But what I'll do is I have done this video before, and I'll try to remember to link it down below in the description so you can go and have it. This is absolutely the best chicken chili I've ever had. Um, super creamy. It calls for heavy cream. There must be a heavy cream shortage, y'all. I don't know. I cannot find heavy cream anywhere. Um, so I'm going to use half and half. But anyway, all right, I'll see you back here when this is done and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, see if there's calls for heavy cream, sour cream, chilies, chicken, some diced tomatoes, some, uh, I use the northern beans, great northern beans, or you can use cannellini, you can use, you know, whatever you want. Um, as long as it's a white bean, because it is white chicken chili, or creamy chicken chili. All right, so uh, I'm just going to work on this. If I don't think I have enough chicken, I can either A, go get another jar of this, or I do have some store-bought canned chicken that I'm trying to get rid of, so I may just add that in here. So, all right, Juba, what are you doing? All right, so I will see you guys back. Uh, when we get everything out, ready to start decorating that tree or ready to eat supper, one or the other. Be back in a little bit. Okay, everybody, the kids have arrived. Bryant had to go make a hospital visit, so we're waiting for him to get here to eat and then decorate the tree. Isaac and Jamie are outside um, trimming off the lower limbs and getting it in the stand for us. But I thought I'd show you the chicken chili, so hold on. Here it is. And I'm super excited to eat it. It's going to be so good. Maybe a little bit spicy for Bryant, but for the rest of us, I think we'll love it. So, okay. Um, Uh-oh, Judah's getting in trouble, y'all. All right, so we're just waiting on Bryant to get back, and we'll eat and then decorate the Christmas tree. Okay, everybody, we finished supper, and we've gotten the lights on. So now we're getting ready to just put ornaments everywhere. I'm not a professional tree decorator, and my tree is just full of hodgepodge of special ornaments, so there's no theme or anything. It's just a memory tree, so we're going to get to putting ornaments on right now. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three
on up, come on over. It's the friendliest time of year. Come on up, come on in. Nothing better than to give the gift of cheer. So come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be singing all the songs. So let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. special behind it so um, it's not much to look at but it's a very special tree okay there it is all finished now we just need presents under it so if you're in we got time on our side we're in a state of hope I can find my way 